Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Vlog. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I have the most fun projects for you using um, stencils and rice paper from our friends at Stamperia. Debbie and I have made some really fun projects. We had a great time doing it. So uh, let's take a look at those. This first project is actually a journal that I made using this beautiful dragonfly rice paper from Stamperia. It's just gorgeous. And also from their collection of stencils called Grand Hotel. Um, I did some 3D effect here using the Metallics Deco Foil Gel. And this particular color is Black Ice. <laughs> okay, I had to check. And um, what I did was once I covered my, let me rewind, ooh, rewind, okay. Got too excited here. So I started out with this composition book. And as you can tell, the cover is pretty wild. And um, rice paper tends to be a little translucent. So I was worried if I put this on here, yeah, it would show through. So the first thing I did was take some watercolor paper. This is from Spectrum Noir. It's great for coloring on, but also regular watercolor paper. And I just took some of this wonderful acrylic blue. Um, from uh, Cosmic Shimmer, and I just spread it all over the surface of the cover, and then I just aligned that edge with the binding, and then turned it over and trimmed that even. And then on the back side, um, I didn't need watercolor paper on this because of the technique I used, so I just turned it over and I just used some craft cardstock and did the same. Okay, so that's the first thing, is getting the base taken care of, all right. So then what I did is I took this beautiful stencil and I just wanted to stamp, uh, sample a little piece on this. So to apply this beautiful rice paper, I just took a combination of water and acrylic glue. I just poured some out of my little craft mat, mixed it together. It's probably, oh, two parts glue, one part water and um, just made a little bit of a mixture there, and then I just painted that directly on the back of the rice paper, okay? I might actually take this rice paper out. I hadn't planned on it, so it's gonna be kinda noisy. There we go. And as you can see, just gorgeous. So what I do is I'm gonna paint some of that glue on the back of the paper and then it just laid that right down over the watercolor paper. And the watercolor paper is great because it gives it a nice surface. Um, the water that's mixed with the glue just bonds really well with that watercolor paper. And um, it didn't do any buckling or anything like if I just used regular cardstock. Okay, so then once I covered my album, or my journal rather, then I used my stencil and I just wanted to just put a portion of this gorgeous, and focal on here. And then I used, you can just use a palette knife or one of these great applicators from Deco Foil. There we go. And you just put that on there and then just scrape that right off. It worked out great. And it's got this really wonderful 3D effect on there. So then I embellished my journal with some wonderful flowers from 49 and Market. Um, this particular one, this is parchment. Um, yes, this is parchment. And this one is ginger. And I also used some salmon um, pixie petals. And just picked up the colors here that are in the paper. But before gluing those on, I wanted a little bit more dimension. And so I did some embossing with um, aged brawn emb embossing enamel. And what I did was I just took, before I had any of my embellishments on, I already did the paste. And then I just took the translucent clear ink pad and just took that and just used the surface of that and just went, just made some smudges here and here, okay? And then just sprinkled some of this wonderful textured embossing powder right over the wet surface 
um, tapped off the excess and then just used my heat gun and it just wanted to leave that kind of chunky um, and textured. I did get my heat gun a little hot. Remember this is rice paper, okay? So it did get a little hot right here. So I have a darker brown spot. Uh, it happened to work with this, but you do wanna be, be careful with that. And then once I had that taken care of, then I wanted to add a little inking technique. So then I added just the um, black that I happened to use this waterproof dye ink, but you could use any black really. And I just used one of my blending brushes, which we love. And I'm just going around adding some color to the edge. Okay. So once I did that, then I went ahead and added my beautiful flowers. I just used my um, Cosmic Shimmer Glue. And then I also added some wonderful little shimmering bits. And if I can find them on my very messy desk, here we go. So this is Desert Sky. Um, shimmers and their little embellishments and they're just little clear jewels and they're kind of tinted a nice tan. I find they're really versatile to use with a lot of different projects and I also added some gold jewel dazzles along the bi binding, that, the border, jewel dazzle borders um, along the binding. So on the back, well, I did want to do something on the back but of course I wanted to leave that nice and smooth. So before doing all of my 3D embellishments, I just went ahead and took this guy and just arranged it right here with the binding. Um, and then also went back to my blending brush and then I used um, seal brown ink and it just went over the surface with the stencil and then around the edges did the black again, okay? So this was really fun to make. It had so much wonderful texture. And then on the inside, I wanted to add a little decorate the pages. This would make a great gift. So what I did was I just used these wonderful corners and I just placed that right there. Took my blending brush with the brown and then you're gonna have little strips of paper, rice paper left over. So what, is I, what I did was I just tore some and used the glue and the water technique, put it right here and then just added one of those cute little pixie petals and then for a little sentiment there, tiny words and phrases, I just put make a wish there. And you could decorate every page in the book or you could do every other page or just every few, which just makes it a little bit more special. For this next project, my friend Debbie made this wonderful luminary. As you can see here, when you put a little battery operated light in it, it's just beautiful. And I thought, how wonderful to make a tablescape with several of these or to put these on a mantle. Really beautiful. Um, how she did this was she took some acetate, which you can get at paperwishes.com. All right. And she actually went ahead and used extra sticky tape to, well, first she cut this to about four inches tall. Okay. And then she used extra sticky tape to go ahead and bind her edge. And then she told me she wanted to make it seamless so you couldn't see that edge. So she then took her glue water mixture that we talked about and she put that on the back of this wonderful rose pattern rice paper, which is upside down, there we go. And she then smoothed that right over the surface. But before, actually before she did that, um, she misted the rice paper before putting glue on it. Back up, Lene. Before putting glue on it, she misted the rice paper so that it wasn't, um, so that it would stretch a little bit and um, have more movement. And then she put the, the two part glue, one part water mixture, painted that on the back of the rice paper, and then just laid that right over her tube of acetate. And then she cut out a few of these roses that just loosely using some scissors, cut those out and overlapped right on that seam using that glue again so that it, it didn't have a seam here. And I thought that was so clever. Um, so really wonderful technique. She also just took the stencil and this is also from the Grand Hotel collection and she wrapped that around um, her piece and then just very carefully using a palette knife put on some of this wonderful um, metallics gel and this particular one is white pearl 
And then once it was all dry, she added some beautiful fancy border dazzles, um, the gold ones. I thought that was just a really wonderful technique. Um, as I said, she did it in the round because she wanted to make sure that she didn't have a seam. If you don't care about having a seam, you could do this entire technique um, with your acetate flat and then use that um, extra sticky tape um, to adhere it, uh, the ends together. You would have a seam, but that might be a little easier for you. Okay, for this card, Debbie made this beautiful poppy card. And I, she did something really clever with this. She actually embossed the poppy rice paper, which I just hadn't thought of at all. Um, the Diamond Dots um, embossing folder from Hot Off The Press, the one she used. Um, so she just cut her um, rice paper to the size of the embossing folder and ran that through the, her um, die cutting and embossing machine. And then she glued this onto a card covered in black cardstock. And then she used, um, some black ink and also um, her little blender brush and just went over that textured surface with a little bit of black ink. So cute. Um, she also used the one, another one of the Grand Hotel stencils. This is a tile stencil and she just used that right on the surface here um, in the corner at the top and the top and the bottom corners. So sh I should say she did that before she went over the surface with the black ink. Beautiful. She also added uh, the swirls chipboard from Hot Off the Press for the word thankful. And here she also cut out one of the other poppies and then just put that right at the top um, that has not been embossed just to give that a little bit of dimension there. She also used the remaining poppy sheet, like this embellishment, this particular blossom right here, um, on one of our um, porcelain bases, which make great magnets. Um, she did that by mixing water and glue and painting that on the back of the rice paper after she cut that out, and then just smoothing that over the bisque and then going over it with a brush with the water and glue on it again. And I um, showed this technique um, several weeks ago on our vlog, so you can refer to that as well from Stamperia. Um, she also cut out one of these wonderful birds, and it looks like she backed that on cardstock, probably just white cardstock, and then she foam taped that right there to give that dimension, and then added some of those adorable little pixie petals. She also used the stencil again, just this little portion right here with the little flowers. She did that right here on the edge and then added some little sparklets and look at that. She even cut out the little um, ladybug as well. Very, very sweet and easy to do. For this next project, I used this hydrangea uh, rice paper. And also this looks like it's um, roses or it could be hydrangeas, but it's also from the um, Grand Hotel collection. And this album, is just fantastic and it opens up into pages like this. So it's really, really versatile. I'm gonna show you how I decorated the outside and we're also gonna finish it together here. There we go. So this laid it like this, opened it up and I took my rice paper and I was just trying to figure out, okay, which part do I wanna use? So I decided upon this part, I wanted the two largest blossoms. So I actually just took my um, paintbrush and I dipped that into some water and then I just went down around here like this and then just did a little bit of tearing and I don't want to ruin this sheet because I'm going to use it in a moment but oh here it is this is what was left so I'm going to show you this technique on this piece here just spray a little bit of water okay and then if you just want to sample or use only a portion of the rice paper, you can either just cut it out with small scissors and do a little cutting there, or you can do this sort of feathered edge look. Okay, so I've got that wet and I'm just tearing right in that. It sort of just makes this little ditch and you're just following along. Whoops, there's a little piece there. And it gives this really pretty feathered edge. And if Generally, it only tears where it's wet, like that. Okay, so we're gonna use this. That's what the technique I used 
um, when doing this here. And then what I did was as I took some purple ink, which I don't seem to have handy. Anyway, it's our Cat IQ purple ink pad. And I just used our blender brush. And then I just used sort of the lavender and covered this whole portion of the album with the lavender. And then I went and I used my stencil. Here we are. And I just placed that right here. And then I used the uh, darker purple, used the same brush, and went over in the darker purple. Okay, so that's how I did that right there. Oh, here it is, of course. This is my purple cat IQ. All right, so that's how I decorated the front. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about how to decorate the inside, and then we'll go back and finish the front because I've learned my lesson. Sometimes I do the front, and then I have to open the album and everything falls off. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my stencil. And what I really like to use when I'm using these stencils is this um, stick and spray, it's repositional spray. So this stuff is just wonderful. I'm gonna spray this on the back of my stencil. I'm gonna be off camera doing this so I don't get it all over the table. All right, sprayed that on the back. And then I'm just gonna use, sort of sample some little portions of this I'm gonna do this part right here. Better get my craft mat out, because I'm gonna get really messy. I'm gonna put that right there. All right, and then I'm gonna use hmm, sort of a medium to dark purple. I'm gonna blot that right there. All right, and then I'm just gonna go right off the edges of this album page. Okay. Now I can also take a little bit darker color and I can just do portions of that. All right, so when you take this off, can have a couple of colors going on there. All right, and then I can do the same thing on the opposite corner. This is gonna be the inside front cover, but that is okay. I think I've still got enough sticky. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna turn that around. I really love the paisley that's on the stencil. I'm gonna use that again. I'm gonna use this two different shades of purple going right off the edge. Get a little bit of darker color there. All right, there we go. Okay, I think we're done with that. All right, so here's my, I'm gonna put my ink pad covers back on because I'm always really paranoid they're gonna get Dry it out. All right, so there we go. There we have it. Um, so now I've got some pictures here, and I wanted to make this a friend album. So I've already matted these photos with some black cardstock, and I'm just going to. Oh, my glue is kind of stopped up, so you can always go and use your your opened up paper clip get that going again. There we go. All right, and I like to put my photos at a whimsical angle. Well, I didn't get it unclogged well enough. There we go. Okay, and then I want to take some of these adorable items that we had left over from, oh, let's see. Should have done this before I glued it down, right, folks? That's the design process. Actually, I think I'm going to do it like that. I like that a lot. So I'm going to just take some glue and some water. I don't need much because I'm going to be doing a little here and I'm just going to mix that 
and I'm just going to be painting that right on the back of my rice paper. Okay. I'm going to put that right here. Re-glue my photo because I panicked and took it away. There we go. Mix a little bit more glue with that water. Okay, there we have it. All right. And now we've got some wonderful little pixie petals. These are called Twilight. Okay. And I'm just going to put you right here in the corner. I've also got, these are ballet pink. Want to bring some more of that pink in. So I like to put these in little groups of three. And these can go right on that rice paper as well. Like that. All right. And then I love to add these little sparklets. And this is, I think, jellyfish is the color here. And for these, I just like to put a little dot right on the paper. Instead of trying to get the glue on the back, we'll just put these right over the glue. There we go. Clean up my little glue here. All right, and we can even add some up towards the top. I think sparklets are just a really sweet little accent. They even come with these little stars, like that. And we'll put another one right there. Okay, so as you can see, it's the foundation of just a really cute little album, a little friendship album. Now we're going to finish the cover. So this is um, from Creative Expressions to a Dear Friend Cutting Die. And my album is going to be made for a friend. So you can just put pictures of friends or family in the album. You can do an ev one event album or you can sort of do it through the years. I'm gonna put that right there. And then from this beautiful sheet of rice paper was this wonderful dragonfly. And I wanted to include that. I can just add that right there, or I could put it on the inside and have it be here. I can bring it in over here. Lots of little things to add right there. And then we can also bring, if you want to have a little dimension on the front of this album, around your little dragonfly, a couple more of these little pixie petals, another little jewel. So there you have it. Very quick to put together, lots of fun. I encourage you to check out the money savers that we have on the stencils and the rice paper today. Um, they're wonderful tools to have in your craft stash. If you're watching us on YouTube, check out the link in the description and that'll take you to Paper Wishes to the actual vlog page so you can see um, the money saver. And if you're uh, watching us from the vlog page, uh, just check out all the underlined um, products and it'll also take you to the money saver. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.